Well, hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Automotive Insight. Today we have a 2010 Hyundai Accent. Got a whole heap of problems with it. Uh, check engine lights on, it's misfiring, uh, the bumper's black, the rotors are severely warped. Now they've already put a coil and plugs in it and it didn't fix anything. So uh, that's why it's here. We're gonna take a look at that. So let's get into it. It had a whole heap of codes in it. Uh, we have a screenshot of what those codes were to begin with. So apparently what's going on with this thing is the, uh, the misfire is basically at idle. Uh, above idle, it doesn't really seem to be missing. At idle, it's pretty much a dead miss, and it'll eventually just shut that cylinder off altogether. So... I have just a list of kind of basic data here I want to look at. I want to see what our fuel trims are. I want to see if our map is doing anything weird. And I want to watch the misfire. So let's go ahead and crank it up. So right now it's running fine. And now we're starting to get some misses on number four. Now if I rev this thing up, the misses almost stop. I mean, so right now I'm at about Oh, the tack doesn't work. Uh, right now, I'm at about 2,000 RPMs, and we're not getting much of any uh, misfires. Now, bear in mind, at higher RPMs, the ECM has a harder time determining which uh, cylinder is actually missing. But let's go back down to idle where our problem is. And it doesn't really look like we have any fuel trim issues. And we have pretty much a dead miss on number four. So I don't know if, if it's detecting the misfires, if it just gives up on fuel trims. Um, I'm not entirely sure. And I, I also, I'm not used to map in PSI, so I, I'm not sure if this map reading is good. But anyway, this is what our data is. So... Let's, uh, let's do our misfire diagnostics and see what's going on with this car. So the fact that it only misses at idle, and when you get above idle, uh, it doesn't seem to miss as bad, that's kind of making me think it's not really going to be like an injector problem because your injectors are going to be flowing more at that point. And same thing, you're going to be under load, so I wouldn't really think it's a coil problem. It might be some kind of a valve problem, or I don't know if you can hear this or not. I'll stick the mic down here. This thing kind of sounds to me like it has a vacuum leak. Um, I'm not sure uh, if that's the case or not, but let's go through our standard misfire diagnostic stuff and see if we can figure out what's going on with it. So even though we're pretty sure that, I mean, it kind of sounds like it has a vacuum leak. It doesn't have any trim issues that we can see. I mean, it had a code when it originally they sent us the picture uh, of trim issues, but I don't really see any trim problems now. So we're just going to do the standard thing. We're going to start by doing a relative compression test on it. Uh, we are going to be doing this one a little bit different than we did in our scope video. Uh, we are going to use automated uh, Pico software that just runs off the battery. So let's go to there. So as with uh, all relative compression, uh, we got, what we did was we just pulled our uh, fuel pump relay. So the car is not going to start. So let's go ahead and get this going. All right. So this is now it doesn't say which one it is, but basically anything above 80, I'm okay with. So I don't think compression's our issue, so let's move on to the next thing. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna check both the uh, injector uh, pulse and the ignition pulse to try to get an idea of what's going on with the cylinder. So channel A uh, in red is our, is that red? In, yeah, in red is on our fuel injector. Channel B in blue is on our uh, coil, so. Let's get this thing started and we'll start it up. Wait till it starts misfiring before you do anything. OK, 
Okay. All right. So blue is our injector. We can see that we actually have this little hump right here uh, is where the pintle of the injector is actually opening and closing. So we know that our injector is actually moving in addition to it being uh, functioning electrically. Red is our coil and it's firing and you see how this is going up. That's indicating that the cylinder is lean. Um, this is all extra energy that is uh, having to be reabsorbed back into the coil. So it uh, looks like we got a lean cylinder here. So from this point, let's see if we can try to track down what we think is this vacuum leak and uh, we'll go from there. So now we're going to look for an actual vacuum leak and we're going to do it the old school way by watching uh, fuel trim, short term fuel trim while spraying something flammable around the intake. So let's do that. So we're going to negative 24. So that's one way. I know it's not, we didn't get really the best angle. Basically what happens is this thing starts misfiring and it shuts the injector off within about five seconds of it running. So uh, we have to try to kind of get it going as fast as we can. But uh, I was just spraying it around the intake manifold and I'm pretty sure that the intake manifold, it's either going to be an intake manifold or uh, like the bottom uh, injector o-ring so uh, that's one way to find a vacuum leak and what we'll do now is we'll show you another way the kind of more advanced the more civilized way of finding vacuum leaks with a smoke machine so now we've got our smoke machine smoke's coming out you can just kind of pick any random vacuum line we found a pcv line but we'll plug in this pcv hose here and i can see smoke coming from down there. I don't know how well you can see that on camera, but uh, to me, I'm pretty sure that is coming from the intake. But you can see right there, it's coming straight out of the intake manifold. Sorry for how shaky the video is. I'm, I'm zoomed like 10X in, but that's coming from, we can see a lot better in person, but uh, that's coming from the uh, intake manifold. So, uh, the gasket, we broke a piece of it, taking it off, but, uh, this part right here is kind of what we could see underneath the car, but, uh, the gasket was what ended up being the problem and, uh, we went ahead and replaced it. So, uh, this video was a little bit different than our normal videos. This wasn't a nut for nut, bolt for bolt, uh, walkthrough of the replacement. It was more of that we just found this to be kind of an interesting uh, diag. And obviously somebody had been behind us already trying to fix this problem and uh, couldn't figure it out. And what you might also notice is that the scan tool really wasn't that much of a help to us. Uh, this thing would uh, cut the injector pulse really early on. So we really couldn't go off of fuel trims. The only thing that we really used the scan tool for was uh, the actual misfire counter and when we did fuel trims by uh, spraying it with uh, brake cleaner or whatever it was that we used, um, this one really kind of just came down to good old fashioned detective work, diagnostic work. Um, and so we just thought this would be an interesting thing to show you guys. So anyway, hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully we earned a thumbs up from you. Let us know what you think down in the comment section. We have new content for you every single week. So consider subscribing to the channel. And with all that being said, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.